While generative AI has become the defining narrative for the tech sector, it's also making its way into the world of finance as a tool for individual investors to manage their portfolios. Here at Post 9 is Vinay Nair, founder and CEO of Tiffin, the company behind the AI investing assistant Magnify. Uh, Vinay, great to see you. Likewise, Mike. Thank you. Uh, give us a, just a quick snapshot of what the service is and what makes it AI. What, what does it enable an individual investor to do? So, Mike, we have uh, a collection of AI assistants at Tiffin. Magnify is one of them, which really helps an individual investor bring together all their accounts, all the self-directed accounts. In the U.S., there's more than 25 million people with more than one self-directed account. And ask questions, get insights, get suggestions. I'll be specific. Sometimes people come and ask us, what happens if I buy NVIDIA? Or, for example, how much Apple do I hold? Because they exist within funds and indices and positions and multiple accounts. Or we find people come and ask us what happens to my portfolio if rates go up mm -hmm. or emerging markets drop. Uh, the early investors often ask us, how do I retire early? Uh, what is the plan I can put in place? Mm -hmm. so essentially, it's a decision support system, a guiding a tool, if you will, to make better decisions for investors. How is it different from what might have been out there already, which is some kind of a recommendation engine or some profile that you would just sort of have uh, in your accounts that says, you know, do my risk weightings and, and all the rest of it that you might have been able to do for a while? It's a great question. And, and in, some ex in some cases, the question hasn't changed for the investor. They want intelligence. Right. And intelligence wasn't delivered in many places, the brokerage account, the advised account, the workplace account. So we have AI assistance for these places where money sits. Think of it this way. Back in the day, you had a paper map, which you looked up and took a pen and mapped out your journey and you went off. Today, we have a GPS system that real time adjusts things. You can take a turn, it'll adapt to it. So this is a conversational interaction where it'll give you options. One could be a scenic route, what could be a fast route. You take one and it'll adapt to that in a back and forth manner. Uh, about a decade ago, I remember, you know, the big wave was robo-advisors, so just a software-based, you know, advisory service, which is instead of perhaps a, a human financial advisor that you could just plug into and it went on autopilot and it would adjust over time. Um, it obviously, those have grown, but it has not really displaced individual financial advisors very much. So how does your uh, sort of set of services fit in? I, I don't believe, we don't believe that financial advisors are going to be displaced anytime soon. Essentially, we believe that individuals will have money in three places, the self-directed account, the advised account, and their employer account. Mm -hmm. And intelligence will seep into all these three places using AI assistance. Advisors are using AI assistance also to get better answers. Effectively, all this together boils down to what is inevitable, which is better advice for more people. That's mm -hmm. what AI assistants are enabling. And just quickly before we go, um, does somebody just subscribe to the service or do you have an account with, with Magnify, say? No, you go to magnify.com and you subscribe just like you would subscribe to a streaming service with monthly subscription. And then you just plug in your information. And That's right. You can connect your accounts, get answers. Great. Vinay, thanks for coming by. I appreciate it. Thank you. Interesting stuff.